Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show how you can create random weighted loot for your game using visual scripting. And I'll do a separate video with C sharp. So here I have a chest that you can open. And what we want to do is select a random item from one of our loot items and display it at the bottom. So let's get started. I'm going to go to my chest and here we're going to add a script machine. I'm going to actually create a new graph and we'll call it random loot. Okay. Before we start writing the graph, let's add the variables that we'll need. First, I need a list of items. So let's call it items. Click add. And this is actually going to be a dictionary. But this is where we're going to store the information about our items. So the key that I'm going to use is going to be in game object. The value is going to be the weights. So I'm actually going to just use integers, but you can use floats if you want. So now before I start populating, I want to lock this inspector. And now if I go inside of one of the folders, let's start with on common. I can add those items in. So for the weights, the bigger the weight, the bigger the chances that we're actually going to get this item. So let's start with 500 for our uncommon. And I'll just add three items here for uncommon. You can choose different weights for uncommon if you want some uncommon item to have less chance. So you can actually decrease to 400 for uncommon item. So this setup actually is really flexible and you can set up the weights for each specific item. Uh, so let's now add some rare items and for rare, let's do 300. And it doesn't really matter which items we add as long as they're a bit different. And now let's go epic. So just get epic. Um, let's do 200 for epic. Although that is pretty close still for the weights, but I'm just showing how you can set it up. And legendary, well, legendary you use in small number, but so that we have actually a chance of spawning this, I'm going to use like 100. So that's going to actually give us some chance of getting those items. Now, if you want to calculate what are the chances of getting a specific item, all you have to do is sum up the weights and then whatever the weight for that item is, you take that weight divided by the total and you get percentage chance of getting that item. Okay, so that's the items and the weights, how you set it up. Well, now let's add another variable here. And this is going to be the place where I want to display those items. So we have items game object right here. And I want to add the item that I'm going to get inside here. So I'll call it item display. And this is going to be a game object and connect that game object. That's pretty much the two variables that we'll need in this setup. And now let's go and start writing our graph. So for our graph, we're going to create a unity event. And this is so that I can trigger this event with a button. And I'll show that in a little bit. And this event is going to be just open. When we want to open, what we're going to do is create some custom events. So let's do custom event trigger. And the first custom event that we're going to create is count total. And the second custom event that we'll create is get random. Okay. So it's like creating functions, keeping the code a little bit cleaner and to know what's going on at each step. So I misspelled count. So let's do that count. So now let's create those events, custom event. And this can be our custom event count total and get random. So for count total, all I want to do here is count the total of weight that I have. So let's actually create a variable here. Total weight. Okay. It's going to be an integer of zero. So the first thing in our count total, we want to set the integer back to zero. Okay, let's add new int integer, integer literal, we'll set it to zero. And now we need to go through that list that we've created using a for loop. So for, but we want to use the for each loop. This is a dictionary. So make sure we check that and grab those item lists and pass 
that as the input. Now, for each body type, we want to add the value, which is the weight, to our total. So let's get our total weight and add a generic of the value and pass it here. So that is it. This is the logic for counting the total amount of weight. You can count the total on start if you want to do that, but I'm going to calculate it each time you open. So if you decide to change the list in the middle or something like that, it's going to recalculate the weight and make sure that you get the right item or you actually get some item. Now, after we have the total, we need to get the random item. So the way we'll get the random number is by using a random range. So we're going to use the random range exclusive, which uses integers. And we'll pass the max for exclusive our total weight. When we get this random range, we want to actually save this value. I'll create another variable, random value. And it's going to be an integer. And we'll set that random value so that we can use it later on. Now, after we've done that, we can do the for each loop. So let's duplicate that. And now we're going to go through the list again. Except this time, we're actually going to be checking if the value that we got for the random range is smaller than the weight that we have here. This is how we determine which item to give the player as the loot. So for each body, we're going to do if the weight of this item is greater than the random value that we have. If the weight is greater than the random value, then that means that this is the item that we want to give to our player. So let's do game object instantiate original with a parent. So the original is going to be the key that we have in our dictionary. And the parent is going to be the other object variable that we've created. So let's pass that in. And after we have found the item that we are gifting to our player, we want to make sure we break this loop. If the value, let me make sure I actually connect this if statement. If the random value is not smaller than the weight of this item, that means that we're going to have to go to the next item. But before we go to the next item, we need to make sure we subtract the weight of this item from the random value that we have generated. So let's go and set our random value by getting the random value and subtracting the weight of the current item. And that's going to be our new random value. Let's connect that to false. So how this works is if we get a random value of one, then we get to the first item and one is less than 500. So we're going to get the first item in the list. Now, if we get a value of 501, we go to the first item. 501 is greater than 500. So we subtract 500 from 501, which equals to one and then go to the second item. And in the second item, one is less than 500. So we can get the second item and it works like that for all of them. It doesn't really matter what order you have for the weights. So you can actually go ahead and say this item is 600 weight and it's going to still work fine. So it's very forgiving for the weights order. And as long as you have the right item associated with the weight, you have your random weighted loot available for you. So let's test it out and see if it's working. To test out, I need to make sure that I trigger that open custom event from my button. So I'm going to go to my button and let me unlock the inspector so I can see the button and on click, I'll add another event 
and we'll connect the chest VS, which has the script machine here. And under the script machine, what we're looking for is trigger unity event. So that's the one that we want to do. And our event name was open. So just configure that. And we are good to try it out. So let's click open. And there we go, we get our first item, which is rare. Then we have uncommon, uncommon, and some rare. There's an epic item. And like I said, since we are calculating the weight each time, we can actually remove some of these items or change the weights on runtime, and it will increase the chance of us getting some legendary. So let's actually decrease. And there we go, we got one legendary item and another one. So that is how you can do a random loot with weights. And you can go and modify this script if you want. So if you want to give multiple random items, you can add a for loop here before we trigger this and with the amount of items that you want to spawn. So I hope you found this video useful. If you want to see how it's done in C-sharp, I will post that video a little bit later, but be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.